guess I've been playing piano since I was six. I wasn't super into it, but after a while, I guess something kind of clicked and then that was it. But I started this thing when I was like 14 maybe, so like five years ago? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lately I've been super into a lot of jazz music and um, like just the way like harmony is approached in that kind of world and stuff. Uh, and then sonically, I guess I'm really into like Taco and Washed Out and some of those kind of like bloggy producers from a few years ago and I feel like that's a bit more evident in like the sounds and stuff. I didn't really have anything else going on, I was just like at school being a nerd. I did just buy a Nintendo DS and I love it but I never, I was never like a big gaming person but just like, you know, not sporty at all and like super shy and yeah. I find myself really bad at giving myself days off and then end up just like working on stuff anyway. Because I guess this doesn't really, like it doesn't really feel like a job or like anything that I would need time off from. Or I guess just like going down some like YouTube black holes. Um, I, I spend hours watching Thirsty Merc live videos. That's the best thing to do. Yeah, just trust me, it, they're amazing. It's definitely something I wanted to experiment with. I feel a little bit more confident about doing it now than I would have a couple years ago. At the start, it was like the most scary thing in the world. But I think just like anything else, the more you do it and the more you kind of just have practice it. Yeah, just doing it, it gets easier and it gets like a bit more natural. Electronic music for people that don't like going to clubs. Which is basically me. Oh, that's that's how I describe it to like Uber drivers. Um, there's this guy Francis in the Lights that I've been listening to a lot of lately. He just is like a genius, I think, and like has yeah like has been involved in a lot of records that have come out this year that I really love. So I think he'd be a really interesting one. Neat Lawn. It's just like something I've been working on a little bit in my spare time. I've been really interested um, in like just like a super small um, label and kind of community of artists and stuff and just like you know not putting out too many releases or anything but just trying to foster kind of I guess yeah like a, a community of artists and also a group of people that just like really like identify with the stuff that comes out on the label. And so at the moment I've just kind of been spending my time recording um, trying to figure out how this record's going to sound and all of that stuff. Um, and that's kind of what I'm doing until the end of the year and then it got, I guess, yeah, we're playing the plot and some other festivals around New Year's and stuff. And then after that, I don't know, hopefully the album will be done and just like see what happens. Yeah, yeah I remember looking at the, the first lineup and being like, oh wow, it's just like all my friends playing at this festival, but then it's like also all the Australian music that really excites me at the moment. Thank you.